I'm gonna do the assumptions challenge today. I'm also going to do a get ready with me at the same time. Um, and I'm gonna do my assumptions challenge a little bit different. I'm going to answer you guys' assumptions about me, but I'm also gonna talk about some um, limiting beliefs I have about myself in hopes that I might be able to help other people um, recognize those and themselves help let go of those and um, move past the blockages that are stopping us from maybe following our true paths or dreams. Let's um, become enlightened and do our makeup. <laughs> when I posted this yesterday, I asked you guys to tell me your assumptions about me and some of you did, a lot of people didn't and I recognized that right, right after I posted that, I thought to myself like, why did I even post that? Like, people don't care about me. <laughs> Nobody cares. Nobody wants to see my assumptions video and no one's gonna respond. And then, um, what, what do you know, I manifested that into reality and no one responded. Um, so that made me recognize some things that I believe about myself. And um, one of those things is that, darn, I don't really have a foundation brush down here. <laughs> one of those things is that I don't remember to bring my foundation brush down when I'm filming. <laughs> I'm gonna use a different brush, I think it'll be all right, we'll see. Um, so, I no, one of my beliefs about myself is that nobody really likes me. Now, I have carried that with me for a long time, and I have manifested a lot of lonely situations. So, um, when I was young, well, starting when I was like six, my little brother had open heart surgery, and so when I was really little, um, you know, as an, as an adult and a parent, I recognized, like, obviously why my whole family was so worried about my little brother, and I was too, but they didn't really have so much time to focus on me, um, so I felt really like no one really cared about me, and I don't believe that, and I don't hold it against my family at all anymore, um, but... I moved a lot when I was young too, and going to a new school when you're like 13, you're already, you know, having uh, hormones or whatever, and you're like, I anyway wasn't um, a very confident 13 year old at all, especially like coming from that background. And then I moved a whole bunch, so I didn't know anybody, so I literally had no friends. <laughs> like, I had to meet people. Um, now I'm thankful for those experiences because I think I'm really good at making friends, and I really love all kinds of different people. I think everyone has something to teach us, you know? Um, meeting any anyone who comes into my life, I think, is a blessing, so in one way or another. So I'm thankful for those experiences, however... <laughs> It really caused me to feel like nobody liked me and I had no friends and just really so lonely and anxious and just unworthy, like really, really bad feelings. And so I obviously really believed those things and um, I remember like my 13th birthday party, I invited like 200 people because my mom had a big space that I could have a birthday party in and I think that like five people showed up and instead of feeling happy about those five people and appreciative I felt sad like wow I invited so many people I thought this was going to be a big party you know my mom got one of her friends to DJ it like I thought it was going to be I was going to be cool after that and um I wasn't and it was because I truly believed that no one liked me and I had no friends and so I manifested that people did like me people showed up and we had a really good time even though there were only like five people same thing happened as an adult um, when I had my baby shower I had gone to baby showers previously in my life and they were always like I was always shocked at like how much these people were getting and how many people showed up and like just the the love and the you know, large amounts of family and friends that came to these parties, I was like, wow, I really want that. And then when I had my baby shower, 
I felt like I didn't really have any friends to plan it for me or family to plan it for me, which I did. I had one friend and my mom did it basically and I should be really thankful for that, but they didn't turn out so great. Not that many people came. Like, I think I paid for food for like 30 something people and we had like seven people show up. It was really similar to my birthday party when I was 13. Um, and also to me posting about this challenge and having really few responses. But what I've come to realize is that that's not true. Lots of people do like me. In fact, I think I'm amazing at making friends. I have friends all over the world and I'm so lucky for that. And I truly think that I attract genuine people and, you know, people who actually do really care. So, um, and, and also people who can teach me things and enhance my life and expand my e existence. So, Thank you so much to the people who did respond, and um, I just wanted to share that with you guys, even though it's a pretty personal thing. I think that it's important that we share our hardships as well as our triumphs so that we can help inspire other people. That said, I've had people assume things about me and maybe didn't want to say it to me, but it came to me anyway. I mean, whether that be me feeling your energy towards me or um, people actually telling me what you had said about me. <laughs> um, so I think I'm, I am quite good at um, recognizing why people might feel certain ways and instead of feeling like hurt by that I feel um, sorry for them I feel like I understand why they are feeling that way and I hope to help inspire others rather than hurt or intimidate or argue with others um, so people have assumed about me that um, a lot of things. <laughs> One, that I grew up uh, really well off and that my life is like totally perfect. Um, obviously, I just told you my life has definitely not been perfect. I don't think anyone's is whether, you know, de no matter what the outside looks like, nobody's life is completely perfect. Everyone has their hardships because we all came here to expand and learn and grow. Um, I was really not wealthy. Uh, my mom did own restaurants and that sounds like, oh wow, if your mom owned restaurants, like you must have had money. But um, that was not the case. I don't wanna tell my mom's business on here, but I just wanna say, um, yeah, we were, we were really broke at times. Uh, my family always said like, next Christmas will be better, next Christmas will be better, that, that was our thing, like <laughs> our motto. I did learn to grow up having less, um, which made me want for more, which is why I do buy myself nice things and I do travel um, and I really appreciate and like lust for the, the better things in life and I can admit that. I'm really lucky I always had a good family who loved me and yeah, that's all you really need. Other people have assumed about me and I don't even, I don't want to turn this into a drama video but I just think it's kind of funny and I want to talk about what I take away from these situations, right? So. People have assumed about me that um, maybe I have like a sugar dad because how could I afford to, you know, travel and live the life that I live at my age? But um, when I hear that, I don't feel like offended. I feel like, damn. I don't really even have that much. Like when I look at my life, I always want more. I'm in fact, I, I recognize lately that I need to be more appreciative for all that I do have because I do have so much. But um, I don't look at me and say like, oh my God, you have so much that like you couldn't afford that yourself. Like I think like, I don't have nearly as much as I plan to have. <laughs> like, I don't, I'm, I'm not anywhere near where I want to be, and I thought I would be farther by this age. Um, so when I hear other people say that about me, I think, like, damn, they must just be kind of feeling, um, you know, maybe inadequate themselves, unworthy, 
They might feel poor instead of gratitude for the things they have because they're not attracting um, more into their lives. And it doesn't make me feel angry at them. It makes me feel like I feel bad. Let me help you manifest more into your life because I really don't have that much and I definitely don't have a sugar dad giving me anything I wish. <laughs> if you find one, let me know. No, I, I have actually, I have been offered um, before on dating apps. I've had people contact me and say like, oh, I'd love to be your sugar daddy, but I just can't bring myself to use somebody. I'm such a hopeless romantic and that's a really dirty feeling to be getting money for the way you look or whatever, how you talk to somebody. I don't, I don't know. I've never done it and whatever, whatever you gotta do, good for you. I don't judge anybody, but that makes me feel like, I, I would feel just dirty about myself. I would feel insecure. I would feel just not, not good feelings. Um, so yeah. I don't have a sugar dad, I've never stripped or anything like that. I might I might wear crop tops, but I also work really hard. <laughs> and I'm always finding different ways to make money. I really like to have like multiple things to fall back on. So if you wanna know how I make my money, I appreciate the things I have so that I can manifest more. And I always am looking for new ways to make money. I just am super, super into law of attraction and manifesting. I've had assumptions that I'm super full of myself. I've actually had people tell me like, I, I deleted you on whatever because I just felt like you're so full of yourself and I'm just like not that type of person. And I'm like, <laughs> um, I, I think that over the last few years I have become a lot more um, self-confident and self-loving, but if that makes you feel offended, then you need to look in the mirror and ask why that offends you. Is that because you don't feel that way about yourself? Because I have gotten really intimidated and offended by other people who have maybe acted similar ways to me. And I had to stop and ask myself why I didn't like them or why that was bothering me. Because it wasn't them, it was me. And if you get to know me, you know that I am not full of myself at all. In fact, I've had low self-esteem most of my life and I am a really, I, I believe I'm a really kind person. I like to help other people. I'm very empathic and I don't think I'm full of myself, but do I love me? Yes, I really do. I love me. Um, you know, my soul, I've been me infinitely long and who could you love more than yourself? You should love yourself the most you know, and your children, <laughs> and your mom, um, so yeah, I do love me, there are days where I'm like, oh, I'm so pretty, but there are other days where I'm like, god, I need to lose weight, and my face is breaking out, and I just am not feeling that great about myself, and that's really a big part of why I got into makeup, is because when I do my makeup, I feel more confident, I feel really good about myself, and same with yoga, makes me feel happy and more confident and good about myself. Somebody said, I think that you were really shy in high school and, um, let me just start with that. Really shy in high school. Um, I think, yeah, I probably started out really shy and it was a lot because I assumed that nobody liked me, but, um, I ended up making a lot of acquaintances like I had a lot of friends in different friend groups like I probably was friends with some popular girls and a lot of like odd people who are maybe loners like me um, I made friends with a lot of different different backgrounded people and I still do so I'm not sure that I'm super shy I might start out that way and I probably was in middle school, but I think I became less shy as I got older. Um, and especially now, like, I really don't care what people think as much anymore. Obviously, I'm doing this video, so I care what people think a little bit. Um, I really, I care how you feel when you're watching my videos, so I want 
people to feel good and like take away something happy make I don't want you to feel like bored or intimidated or anything negative so I do care what people think a little um, but when I'm in public um, especially if I'm like drinking <laughs> I'm extremely social I will talk to anyone if I bring my true self I will I will be a social butterfly so um I was more shy in high school though because I was really insecure and they said to um I bet I assume that you um expressed yourself through art uh, I definitely think that's true now with makeup. Makeup is my art. Um, I really can't draw. I did, I did actually draw a little bit when I was really young. Um, but I really am not the greatest drawer. I haven't tried in forever either. And in high school, I, I didn't really do much art. I probably would have been more confident had I started doing makeup at a younger age. A lot of people did say like, oh, I hate to assume things because I feel like I'm judging and I just want to say, um, I'm really thankful that I have you guys as friends or acquaintances or whatever. I feel the same way and I really don't like to judge people and if I catch myself judging people, I'm like, okay, stop. Like, you don't want to be judged and you shouldn't judge others. So, I really appreciate that I'm attracting people like yourselves, and you're great. Thank you. <laughs> um, and yeah, so I totally, totally get why you wouldn't want to do that, especially, like, this was not anonymous, which I recognize after I posted it, too. Like, maybe more of you would have said things had it been anonymous, um, but I also might have taken it personally and cried. <laughs> but, um, yeah, if you're watching this, thank you. I have assumed unworthiness about myself for a long time and I was just listening to this new song by Russ and he talks about, um, let me see, I wrote it down because I was like, ooh, that's such a good line. The intrinsic motivation it takes um, to believe in something only you believe in and you know go after your dream that only you believe in and I was like yes <laughs> um I do believe that I now have that a lot better grip on that and so I'm that's why I've been doing YouTube videos and being really like open honest like I don't care if I'm not wearing makeup like I'll just randomly post stuff on my stories nowadays um, and also, like, I started to read tarot cards for other people, and for a long time, I thought, like, I don't believe in me enough to believe that other people would believe in me. Um, and if you don't, then other people will not believe in you either. <laughs> That's the key. You have to really, truly believe in yourself and that you can accomplish your goals and dreams, and it took me a long time to... Like, I think I've always subconsciously known that, but it took me a long time to, like, recognize that I wasn't believing in myself, and that's why I wasn't able to manifest the big things that I desire, and it's funny, because I might not believe that I'm capable of achieving, but I believe that I'm entitled to, I believe that these big things are meant to be for me and I don't think I think that line really hit me because that only you believe in I think I do think that only I believe that I'm gonna be a billionaire <laughs> and that I'll be famous I, I don't think that even though my family loves me and maybe my mom thinks I'm capable I don't know if they believe that I'll actually do it um, but I do and that's really all you need so I hope that you don't feel like, oh, she's just full of herself, but instead you feel like, yeah, I believe in myself and you're right. Like that is, that is, you know, how we need to think and feel in order to manifest our dreams into reality. 
and I believe that the right people will be watching this video. So these messages are, if they're hitting you, like they're meant for you. They're, if they're resonating, you were meant to be watching. All right. I've had people um, assume that I'm really mean. I don't think that I've had that for a while because I'm more open um, with my personality now. But I have had people assume that I'm really mean. Um, I don't think I am. I feel like I'm actually so understanding of so many different circumstances and people. Like, I'm very empathic in a way that I understand people's hardships. I understand their anger, their hate, their sadness, their pain. If somebody does something negative to me, I see where that's coming from. Or, you know, I, I understand why people think the way they do. And I think that's such a blessing. And I... I really, I have love for everyone. I think that, you know, we are all one and I don't, I'm, I don't think I'm negative towards others. And if I am, I try to catch myself in that and stop that. <laughs> Other people have said they think I'm really nice, super nice. Um, I try to be kind. I think that I have always had a little issue with patience <laughs> and, um, I also am quite selfish in a way that um, even though I like to help others, I often avoid people who I know are very negative, who I think are in such a dark spot that I wouldn't be able to help and that it would only drag me down to help them. So I do often like ignore people, especially people who hit on me, I ignore people a lot and I feel bad about that, but I don't think that's really mean. It's just kind of protecting your own energy. So. I'm not the nicest person in the world, but I try. <laughs> Alright, Tartiste Pro palette. I want to show you guys this because it's brand new from BoxyCharm. And it's so pretty. A lot of people have told me that they think I'm very emotional. You're right. <laughs> um, yeah, because I am so empathic, I, I do think that... I can be very emotional, um, however, I also think that because I've worked on myself so much over the past few years, I've become, um, like I said, a little bit more selfish in my energy and stuff, and I haven't dated anyone in years, and I think because of that, I'm a lot less emotional, um, and it takes more for me to have emotions for people. I haven't had, like, feelings for anyone in years. And I am not, like, worried or emotionally cut off or anything. I think it's healthy, actually, because I just, I really know what I want. And I used to, like, fall for people more easily just because, like, I, I craved, like, attention. And so I would just like like anyone who liked me, but now I'm like, no, I see that they're not quite a match and I don't like them. <laughs> well, I think that a lot of men assume that because maybe like because the way I dress or because I post selfies that I want to just sleep with people and like maybe I'm not looking for a relationship or something. I, that's the way that men talk to me that makes me think that. Um, that is really, really not true for me because I am quite an emotional person. Uh, I truly believe that to have, like, really good sexual relations, you need to have really good emotional relations with somebody first. And I really, I mean, I don't judge other people for what they do, but I really am against sleeping with somebody who I don't truly like think that I connect with or think that they can better me like I don't think that others realize how much of an energy exchange exchange that sex really is and until I meet somebody who does understand that and has a really good healthy connection with me like I I don't want to sleep with anyone so Please stop hitting on me. I know I wear crop tops. I like them. I think I look cute for me, not for you. It's become such a trend in society to just sleep with people. Gross. Don't y'all have minds? Don't you have feelings? 
Just kidding. I'm not judging you. Do what you want. If that feels good, then cool. But when I do that, it drains my energy. It makes me feel lesser. I don't feel myself. I don't feel full. I don't feel satisfied. I don't feel happy. I don't want that. Ooh, I want that. <laughs> Ooh, I kind of want to put this shiny purple. So I'm just going to keep following my heart and believing in myself until I make this a reality. And that is why I started YouTubing. I wanted to prove to you and to me that law of attraction is a for sure thing. It is real and you can manifest anything that you truly desire if you believe that you can. Thank you guys so much for watching and if you responded to my assumptions questions or your tell me your assumptions about me, um, thank you so much for that too. I appreciate your support. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Loving the skin, loving the skin. Once someone told me if you assume you make an ass out of you and me. <laughs> oh man, never get ready in a white shirt. Never, never do it. So good, so good, so good, eh, eh, so good. I got you, babe. Eh, eh, eh. Don't come at me with them dick pics manifesting. I'm not good at talking, I'm not good at English, but I'm really good at manifesting the money I need for the trips that I want to take. That I can't. She can I don't know how to eat some emotions.